Hey YouTube, Alyssa Forever here, and I've got some big news. For the next four weeks here at Awesomeness TV, we're gonna put four makeup influencers to the test as they compete for the top spot and a chance to win a creator's badge for VidCon, along with access to all the best parties and events. The grand prize will be awarded to the contestant with the highest cumulative points after the fourth challenge. Welcome to Make It Up. Here to join me on the judges panel this week are two amazing influencers you know and love. Tiffany Ma, who I'm sure you recognize from her channel, Miss Tiffany Ma, where she covers all things beauty and fashion and her clothing line, Live and Jess. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Of course. And then we have Alejandra Ayala, the star of not one, but three successful YouTube channels and her Drewy line, Allery. Are you guys ready to find out who's competing? Yes. What's up, beauties? It's Lindsay. Hey guys, it's Marella. My name is Arlene Sanchez. It's your girl, Runa. Hey, I am so excited. So each week, I will receive a box in the mail. It's got some mystery goodies. We are going to create a look with the items in the box. They'll give me some type of challenge. I don't know what the challenges are. But it is up to me to channel my creative juices and come up with something creative. Let's get into the first box. You guys, I'm so scared. We are here for the ah! oh oh my god this is the box that all the contestants received Ooh. ready to see what's yes. inside yes. Oh. Oh. this is so cute so this challenge is called the great makeup bake-off say that five times fast bake makeup makeup <laughs> greetings contestants this week's challenge is all about pastels get ready to think outside the cake box because you don't need an oven to bake the rules one, create a playful pastel look inspired by your favorite sweet treats. You can apply skin prep, primer, foundation, and brows as you see fit. But, OMG, this is the catch. You must wear oven mitt to finish the rest of your look when you do your eyes and lips. I want to make a fool of myself. This is gonna, I'm ready. Girl, we love a challenge. Oven mitts? Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't think I could do that. Let's, see, what's let's see what's inside. Everything looks so fun. Let me go over the products with you guys before I start baking. <laughs> There's a palette called Chasing Rainbows. Here are the colors inside. Blending eggs. How freaking cute is that? Flower setting powder. And then we have this illuminator, which looks like a little thing of ice cream. Oh yeah. Long lasting gloss. Okay, I'm so excited because I love rainbows and I love pastels. And these are just so cute. Here we go, y'all, it's time. Before we watch their videos, let's go over the scoring system. We will be scoring their videos in four different categories. Performance, technique, creativity, and final look. All right, let's get right into it. All right, Runa's up first. Let's Woo. see. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Runa. Her oh skin my. is flawless. Literally, what else was about to say? Oh my gosh, and it also comes with a mint. Hello. I'm about to <laughs> smoke this challenge. My favorite pastry is cupcakes. I love cupcakes. I love cupcakes with sprinkles, and I love donuts with sprinkles. So anything sprinkle pastry, is my jam. Definitely gonna have to very, very smart. Wait, can we talk about how pigmented I that is? I was just about to say that. Which can be hard, because she has to blend it with that oven mitt. That oven mitt, but look how she's doing it. She's doing good, she's like just kind of tapping it in. Biggest challenge I'm facing is when I'm trying to get over here, this whole thing is like blocking my view. <laughs> she can just see around the big hand. I don't understand. Um, G, I literally can't see what I'm doing. I feel like her blend and everything looks better than mine does on a regular day. Oh no, yours looks good today. What? Yes. That is amazing. Blue's always the color you see in sprinkles. And I'm just gonna press that in and then blend. I probably would never be bold enough to put those two colors together. I think I am literally insane for doing this, but we about to cut this crease. Oh! oh She's taking it to another level. What Man, mittens? This is just blowing me away. Oh. OMG. And I'm gonna... Press that on the out, outer corner. So I'm gonna go home and try this at home. <laughs> and then see how bad it is. It's okay. almost like the mitts aren't even there anymore. Like at this point, she's not struggling. I'm not gonna blame the mitten for me not getting straight lines on my lips. Did she already do it without showing it? Cause she could have easily cheated. Not that Ooh, she did, but like, I didn't, see it. I didn't see it happen. I feel like these um, beads give the actual illusion of sprinkles being on your face. I also feel like with sprinkles, she could have done so much more with her lips. Super proud of my look. I actually accomplished it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. 
guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlene Sajines. Today's video is probably the most nerve-wracking. I love her energy already. I was just about to say that. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face first and then we're gonna like basically start. I don't really care for this sped up. Style. Yeah. No, I think I just don't like the sped up because I don't know what she's doing. It's moving all fast, making me breathe fast. <laughs> Moving on to the actual fun part. I'm thinking cotton candy. I love cotton candy. Okay, cotton candy. Ooh, yeah, I love that idea. Okay, I'm gonna start with the lightest nude color. Okay, this is She seems to have a lot of control over the brush. God, I think I got this. Yeah. Okay, she's, she's doing, confident. she's holding the brush closer to the edge, which gives her so much control, so which much is so control. smart. Picking up the brushes, I feel like it's even harder. Oh my God, okay. I went in a little heavy. That blended out nicely. That looks pretty. She's using more of a pastel. Yeah. yeah. Since the cotton candy had a lot of blues and pinks, I'm gonna go into this like teal blue color here. I wanna see her do something crazy because I feel like right now it's a little safe. Yeah, I feel like it's looking like cotton candy. It almost looks like, you know that cotton candy that goes from blue to pink? Oh yeah. That's what it looks like. Oh, she's doing an eyeliner? The best is she gonna, is she gonna wing this out? out is oh, gonna be she's wow. gonna wing it out. Right like when that. you said that, that's crazy. This is so hard. I risked it with this liner and it's not exactly paying off. You know what, we might be able to come back from this. I am living for this look. I am going to go ahead and add lashes and mascara. Lashes? Did she do lashes? She's, she's doing lashes. lashes. Oh, she's doing with lashes. Mitts. Oh my, okay, that, yeah, that's, that's talent. All right, you guys, that completes the look. I did go ahead and change my top to kind of go with the theme. I'll see you guys in the next challenge next week. I don't even think I want to put lipstick on with an oven mitt, let alone with tweezers and eyelashes near my eye. You should try it. No. You should totally try it. Got an oven mitt right here. <laughs> oh! We even got you some lip gloss. gloss. Wow, there's so much pressure on me. I'm sweating already, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be here to support you. We'll put on mitts. See, just like a 10 pro. 10 out of 10. Okay, you got Thanks, this, girl. <laughs> maybe I should join the crew. Yeah, maybe you should join the competition. Okay, that was fun. Should we keep going? Yes. yes. What's up, beauties? It's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, she's cute. Good energy. Love her energy. All right, let's get into the first box. Challenge number one, week number one. What's my favorite sweet treat, though? I like everything. I love donuts. I love ice cream. I love cupcakes. I love cake itself. There's a cake in the fridge I've just been eating since the first of May. Let's be honest. So let's put the mitten on. Oh boy, this is easily the weirdest, most challenging thing I've ever done when it comes to makeup. I'm gonna take this lighter tone just to like fade that out. Oh no. So she's, uh, she's, so uh, she's just uh, winging uh, it. Uh, I like that <laughs> style. She's just so confident that she's gonna get it right, that she's winging it. Okay, we're coming together a little bit. We're kind of, mm, a little bit. New brush, who it is. We're gonna go in with this darker pink. I think I've changed the inner and outer corner about three times now. We love an indecisive queen. Do we push ourselves and try an eyeliner? Ever so gently. Good thing this isn't timed, because if it was, girl, we in trouble. She still has the mitt on. She doesn't need to have a she bit on. She doesn't, it's only for the eyes and lips. But like, do we give her <laughs> extra points? I can't even lie. I didn't know it was gonna be all this. She's on a whole nother challenge because <laughs> she's doing her whole face. This is the mixture I have concocted. Okay, under the eyes we go. So right. she's using all the products, which is good. We don't know how this is gonna look, but here on out, we're doing pop art. So we're putting this on my lower lash line just to make my eye appear bigger than what it is. Okay, you know what I'm liking? That it's looking more extreme. Like, it's not looking like an yeah. everyday makeup look. This is looking like, what is going but on? I don't understand the, like... I mean, I get the vibe, but I don't know how it ties into the challenge. Yeah. Oh, girl! That was it. Let's do the jaw while we're here. It's actually really good, though. Yeah. But... Yeah, it's not the... I feel like I can't give her the full points I want to give her right. because it's Maybe. not the theme. Okay, now I'm taking the white again to create the dots. I want to do a bold lip, but they say pastel, so I'm a little... Iffy, that'll have to do, girl. I'm stressed. <laughs> it's really, it's a really cute look. And this entire time, she's had her mitts on. Yeah. Just gleam, girl, gleam. And that, my friends, is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all. Hey guys, it's Marilla. I'm kind of brainstorming right now because when I think of pastels, I think of 60s. And then when I think of 60s, I think of festival looks. So let's get all this makeup washed off and get started. I like to work downward when I do my eyeshadow. So I'm first going to take this <laughs> kind of like a white with blue shimmer in it. Next, I'm taking a blue, and this is just a bit darker than the powder blue that I initially used. I'm going to put this one right in my crease. So far, I like how pigmented that looks and how like 
wide and big she's making her eyes. Yeah. Now I'm going to get one of my blending eggs and my baking flour and I'm going to bake under my eyes a little because I'm kind of feeling this high blush. I'm gonna blend it with a brush but I wanted to really like pack it on. But everything is so vibrant. I love this look already so and it's so pastel. I'm going to put that under my eyes as well to kind of brighten up, oh yeah. I've never seen anyone put blush literally on their oh, bags. No, now I'm going to use a glitter. I want it to be oh, that's cute. Right above the crease. I feel like I can see everything she's doing, mm -hmm. which is really that's good. Cool. I kind of want to put stars on my face. I that's so cute. so cute. Considering that I just did these all while wearing an oven mitt, I'm pretty <laughs> proud. I love her look so much, but I'm still thinking like it's not pastries. So like- Definitely pastel. Yes. And now for the gloss. And I put a little on the lips. Wow, guys, so I'm definitely shocked that I was able to do this entire thing with an oven mitt on my hand. And let's look at it all up close. She's like really good up close shots mm -hmm. at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I feel like we have such a hard job now. How are we going to pick the winners? I know, there's so many good ones. <laughs> How are you judging this? How do you feel about some of them not mentioning the bakery, some of them not using pastels? Like, how are we doing this here? With two out of the four girls not choosing which baked good they're using, I feel like it's so hard to base it on. so hard. Yeah. Yeah, and I have to think that in the weeks coming, there's going to be other challenges that have different themes. Right. Where some of I these think makeup looks will fit better. Because this is the first week, maybe it could be a little bit more lenient. Uh, is it the first week? I don't know yeah, if it's like, lenient. So. Lenient. I feel like the first week is the time like you're supposed to show me everything you got. Yeah, and true. you didn't follow the rules. For I sure. feel like that's an important part of the whole For thing. Sure. Like, come on, I want to see some donuts yeah. here. Yeah. Well, I think another important part was seeing people using that oven mitt to apply their eyes and their lips. Mm -hmm. Right. So that was definitely another thing that they had to do, yeah. and if they didn't show them doing it, it definitely took away from their score. Lindsay used mostly the products that came in the box. Mm -hmm. I think that's important because yeah. she used what was given to her. She took that as a challenge, and right. she was like, I'm gonna make a whole look work right. from just these items. But yeah. she was the most far off with a theme. True, she was, yeah. but she had the best energy as well. We can't forget like how mm -hmm. fun she was and captivating. It's gonna be hard. It is hard, because not only is she my favorite, but so is Runa, and I loved her bright, colorful look, even yeah. though yeah. she wasn't the pastel. It's gonna be hard, girls. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you, ladies? Hi. Hi. The competition. Congratulations on finishing your first challenge. We're gonna get right into the critiques, and we're gonna start with Morella. Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm kind of excited, but kind of like terrified. You shouldn't be nervous. It's definitely exciting. You're one of my favorites. I loved your look so much. We loved your energy. You had really high energy throughout your video, which is really cool because it kept us engaged. Your yes. skin was glowing, colors were popping. I think the only critique that all of us had for you was that it wasn't on theme. Yeah, right after I finished, I like was editing my video and I rewatched the intro and I was like, based off your favorite sweet treats, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on oh to Arlene. You are oh next no. to get your critique. <laughs> I think you did a really good job like interacting with us. We also love that you talked about a pastry or like a dessert. You talked about cotton candy, which was good because it was on theme. One of the things that we did see with like the editing, maybe for like your next videos, is maybe instead of like the speed up, just chop chopping it up just so it can roll like a little bit more consistent. I thought that you killed it when you had the little oven mitt on and you are trying oh to do God, the liner. Yeah, you did the yeah. I literally yeah. stopped breathing for you. I was like, oh my God, is she able to do an eyeliner with that? Yeah. You did lashes. Right. Yeah, she did lashes. She had the tweezer and everything. I know. I think you had the best oven mitt technique though because you held the brushes closer to like the brush. So you yeah, really had control. control over that oven mitt. Next, we're gonna go and move on to Runa's critique. Well, my first thing is, right when the video turned on, I'm like, this skin, your skin is beautiful, so first of pretty. all. Ah, oh, thank yes. you. During the lip portion, you kind of fast forward through it, and you didn't show it on camera that you were using the oven mitt to do your lip liner. And so that might be the only thing that hurt you a little bit, but overall, I loved your look. 
Thank you. And the fact that you did a cut crease. Oh my God. I was yeah. like, she's really gonna do this. She's she really gonna do a cut crease. <laughs> cool. I was gonna do the eyeliner, but I got scared. <laughs> I was like, that's doing too much. Well, I mean, you did kind of do, you kind of did when you did the glitter on your cut crease. I kind of feel oh, like that's that the same. Was that was cool. equally as hard. Oh, okay, yeah. We wanted it to be more pastel. We wish you used more pastel colors. So, you know, that was one of the big things that kind of influenced the way yeah, that we scored. Okay, hey, Lindsay girl. Hi. <laughs> First of all, girl, I love your energy. Yes. You're one of my favorite on-camera personalities. Aw, thank you so much. And you had some funny jokes in there that I might steal for my next video. <laughs> Sorry. You were the only girl to actually keep your oven mitt on the entire time, which is actually <laughs> insane. Yeah. You were doing your foundation, your blush, everything with an oven mitt on, so props to you. That was definitely... I want to say unplanned. I was just kind of stressed out. Like, we're going to finish strong with this mitten on. It's difficult. My hand is cramping, but we're going to get through it. We didn't know what your theme was going to be, and that kind of felt like, where is this going? What is this going to do? What does this have to do with pastry? For the pop art, candy art, it was just kind of inspired by the candy dot strips, if you guys have seen those. So that's kind of where I was going with it, but I probably should have executed that better. For your next challenges, really focus on the theme. Yes, we yes. want to see these themes come alive. Yeah. Like, I just want to see, like... It was a little hard for us on a couple. We were just trying to figure out, like, okay, maybe it's this, maybe she's trying to do that. We want it to be really clear. Like, let yeah. us know right from the get-go, this is what my, the theme is, and this is where <laughs> I relate to that theme. Are you guys ready to find out who made it to the top this week? Yes! Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> okay, here we go, you guys. Lindsay, your score is 88 points. Morella, your score is 92 points. Arlene, yours is 81. And Runa, yours is 96. Runa's the winner! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's Congrats, so surprised. Runa. Go, girl. You did it. We are proud of you. This week's challenge was a great makeup bake off, and Runa, you served us a cupcake look that was a real treat. But don't get too comfortable because everyone has a chance to make it up next week. Bye, ladies. Congratulations, and we can't wait to see what you create for week number two. We got this. Yeah. Next week, Bye. it's on and pop it. Come on, girls. Do you agree with the judges' critiques? Think we got it wrong? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to comment the emoji of your favorite contestant. Also, be sure to check out the contestants' full challenge videos on their personal YouTube channel. We'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys next week. week. Bye. Bye.